Hey guys, we're just gonna go through 14 muscles from Touch for Health One Balance. It's a fix-as-you-go balance from Touch for Health Kinesiology Level One. My lovely assistant, Sarah, having some what? Some adductor pain. Some adductor right pain side. on the right side, so some pain on the inside of the thigh a little bit. So in relation to that, we're gonna just balance the system as, around that symptom, okay? Start here, hold that. I'm gonna push in this direction. Hold steady right there. That's the supraspinatus muscle. And hold that one, just the same thing. See that one drops down a little bit? Take your hand and place right here for me. And hold it again. That strengthens it. Let me go. So we're just gonna work lymphatic points. Get some more lymph flow to that muscle. Right there. Yeah. Ooh, some stuff right there. Good. Yeah, let's try that one again. Hold it. Solid. Feels good? Mm hmm. Can you touch that same spot like you did before, right there? And hold it. That's a little challenge that works. Now tuck your hand under, like so. And hold your elbow straight down. Hold it down. Good, let it go. It's a Terry's major. And hold that elbow straight down. Good, that works. I'm gonna bring this straight up in the air. Thumb down, and I'm gonna push in that direction. Hold steady. Good. It's the pectoralis clavicular head. Hold that one. That feels good. Turn your wrist in and keep your elbow straight and hold it against your body. Good, that's the latissimus dorsi. And hold that one in. Feels a little bit different. Hold that one in. Doesn't move. Come around here. And hold that one in. Moves a little bit, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Feels like you're putting more effort into it. Yes, it does. Let's see. If we touch here. Is that tender? It tickles. Okay. Turn it in again. Does that strengthen it? Yes. Feels different. Mm -hmm. Can you rub right there between those ribs? It's another lymphatic area. I'm going to go to the back. Right next to about T7 sender back there, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So that would make sense. And throwing your gait pattern off, your lat on this side. Relax that. Turn it in, hold it. Nice and strong. Touch that again. Turn it in and hold it. Feels good? Mm -hmm. Okay, let it go. Now bend your elbow. Hold your wrists. To the floor straight down. I'm gonna pull up. Good. Subscapularis. Bring it out. Just let it fall. Hold the wrist down. Feels okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Can we bend your knee and hold towards your head that way? Good. And hold your foot up at the ceiling. Now both together. Hold this both. Good. That's the quadriceps. Bend this one. Hold towards your head. Hold your foot up. Both together. That's confused. <laughs> but again, that one didn't work the same. So we're going to work right along the rib margin there. Is that tender? Uh, no. Not too bad? Mm -hmm. Like that again. Because I did feel some tight tissue back here. Oh, oh mid through yeah, right, right there. Right there. <laughs> So we're just working the tissue next to the spine. These are more neurolymphatic reflexes. The quadriceps relate to the small intestine. Good, let it go. Bend that, hold up and that way too. Solid. Mm -hmm. Touch, cover that area right there. We're just challenging again, hold it up. See how it goes down again? Mm -hmm. Let it go. So we need to add another reflex, a neurovascular point on the side of the scalp here. Send some blood flow. That's good. Get a little pulse in that point on the scalp. Do 
usually within about 30 seconds will get a good pulse. You can hold it up to 10 minutes if it's really bad. Uh, bend it again. Hold up, bend that way. Good. Cover that area. Hold it. Good. Now touch the side of your he head where I was. A little bit higher. Just cover the area and hold it again. Good. Feel strong? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. And your ankle. Flex this up and out and hold right there. Not the knee. Feel that engage. Hold that right there. Good. That's the peroneus. Hold up and out. Good. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Related to the psoas. I mean, not the bladder. Now we'll test the psoas. Keep that straight. Bring it up in the air. Straight up. Hold it up. Good. Psoas muscle. Bend it. Hold it up. Not the same. <laughs> See how the pain's on this side, but we're finding weakness on this side. Normally the pain's compensation. Hold here. There we go. So here, we can go right next to the navel. Sometimes the tissue gets stuck. It's another lymphatic spot. Twist. Hold it up. Better. Mm -hmm. Cover your belly button again. Yeah. I'll hold it up. But there's more to do. So maybe we needed the back lymphatic point as well. Let's connect the T12 L1. That tender back there? Not really. It's a little bit. Just a good wrist massage on those lymphatic points. Relax that. Here, pick it up and hold it up. Cover the belly button again. And there, hold it up. Feels good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go. Good. That was so bad muscle. Now just glute medius. Hold out to the side, straight out. Good. Straight out to the side. Good. Feels good? Mm -hmm. Terry's minor. Hold back with your wrist. Good. And hold back with your wrist. Does it feel the same? Yeah. On both sides? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's get that. We'll go here. Hold straight right there. Deltoid, good. And this one, deltoid, good. Let it go. Turn and hold towards that opposite hip. Hold there, good. Bring this one up and hold that way. Good, that's the pec, external head. And here and reach for the ceiling a little bit and hold that way. Good, that's the serratus. And hold that way. Good, let it go. And now turn and hold up and out. All right, and turn and hold up and out. Good. So that's the 14 muscles from level one touch for health, All right? That's just big postural muscles. And we kind of did a balance of the acupuncture system at the same time. But since you have pain in the adductor, I'd be concerned with other compensation in the area. And we did find a lat off on that side and we start looking at different complexes and different gait patterns of how muscles and connective tissue fascia connects into different patterns like that. We start to see these little boxes in areas where the X is getting skewed. If there's a box here and somebody pulls this way, the X is going to get skewed a little bit. Right. So the adductor is tight here. So let's look, we can actually test it. Keep your foot straight up and hold across that way to the midline. Any pain there? No. There, hold that way. That's good. Mm -hmm. So muscles turn off when opposing muscles turn on. So if we flex out and hold out, that glute medius feels good. How about other synergous muscles that should be helping them? Like the gracilis, turn in, hold in. Feels good, mm -hmm. right? And bend it and let it fall down. Down and you keep flexed. This is sartorius comes across there too. Hold down and flexed. Feels good, mm -hmm. right? Quadricep felt good. How about the rectus femoris? Keep that straight and bring it up. Hold it up. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Flexors feel good. How about a portion of the hamstrings? We can take hamstrings. So we can actually do like this. Hold your your heel down. I'm gonna pull it up. Feels good. Here, turn like that. 
don't press down, but keep it flexed on the pole here, right there. Feel that? That's the lateral head of the gas drop, not firing. Let it go. With this one, keep it flexed. Works fine, right? So the lateral head is not firing, which will create compensation another way. Hold here, this is just an indicator muscle. We can talk to this guy. So is that a priority right now? So we have the gastroc that's underactive. Is it a reactive muscle? It's not firing. So that's along the same meridian as the um, the gracilis and sartorius. That's the triple one mer meridian. Right, right there. So we work similar points here, 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 the back of the head. Cover your head like this. Relax that. Bend it and turn it and keep it flexed. Better? Mm -hmm. So you're hitting a vascular point back there, like a, a reflex with turning the muscle on temporarily. So it tells us we need to work it. Let it go. Pick your head up. And I'm just going to a button right on the back of the scalp, my fingertip here. There. And again, we just wait for blood flow 30 seconds to a minute. Feel that capillary pulse. Some extra blood to the adrenals, thyroid, and gastrocnemius, the medial, medial head. in a little bit, keep it flexed. Better? Mm -hmm. Touch back there one more time, like our was right there. Hold that flexed. Good, okay, so pass the challenge. Let it go. All right, so hold here, good for the cash drop, we're just testing that. We have Poplidius back there, so adductor. So a little bit other checks, there's some alignment. There, so is that a reactive muscle? Something else is going on, perhaps a gait, a gait pattern. Good, we can test the gait. So we did a 14 muscle balance. That's like balancing the whole acupuncture system. And then we checked on a couple of muscles that weren't within those 14 muscles. And we did find one here. But now we're gonna correct your gait. Since we correct muscle firing patterns, when you make sure that you're gonna walk into that good pattern, not out of it. Okay. Hold up, bring this up like you're walking forward. Hold them both, good. Up and up. Goes down just a little bit, doesn't it? Just tad. Do this one. Doesn't move. Do this one again. And you feel the difference when you yeah. twice like that. So this by itself, hold it up. That's fine. Now just put your arm in there and hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> so when that fires, that's turning that guy off. <laughs> so that's a button right next to the big toe between those two toes. Ooh, that's a little tender. Yeah. You'll probably feel the difference. Not so much on that side. No, not at all on that side. So homework, I would say, stretch this guy out and massage between the big toe and the second toe. Loosen that up. Hit that nerve bundle and those liver acupuncture points that affect that. Bring that up again and hold it both. Solid. Wow, so solid, yeah. Go out to the side and out to the side and hold them both. Solid. Out and out. Good. We can add a couple more that are right outside the touch for health. Turn in like this and hold this to the center, both to the center. See how the lat and the adductor fire together? Mm -hmm. Let it go. Turn in and hold in. And I knew that was going to kind of throw off because we had a weak lat on that side. That's actually right on the outside of the pinky toe, the bunionette area. <laughs> we get Oh. Tissue. It's kind of the shoulder area, reflexology, but it's on the bladder line, acupuncture. And that's for that sort of internal gait. 
Or turn it down. Hold and hold. Solid. Feel good? Mm-hmm. That's good. We can add a couple more that are just outside of the touch for health realm. Hold there. Rotate. Bring it up. Hold them both up. Those work. Cool. Do this side too. Just check. Turn. And rotate. And hold them both up. That one's a, that was really solid, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> See, sometimes we go back and forth when we find that one that firing exactly like it should and, and question the first <laughs> one. Yep. So that's throwing the psoas off with another hip flexor there. So that's the points right under here at the beginning oh. of the kidney meridian, kidney oh. number one. <laughs> this is the connecting point for you and the earth when you go barefoot. Yes. You're exchanging ions with the earth. Very important that we go barefoot sometimes. Drain that extra energy out and pull some good energy back in. Good. There. And there. And that corrects that firing pattern. So homework that toe and under there work those. Alright. Turn them to your stomach. Posterior gate. Come here, bring this in the air, this leg in the air, like you're walking backwards. Good, that works. This up, this up. Not the same. <laughs> that's not the side that's got the problem, is it? Mm -mm. So that one we would actually work right on the bunion, just move the skin. I'm just kind of massaging the skin. But you can see how people with bunions would have definitely a kind of a screwed up gait pattern because these reflexes are designed to talk back to the nervous system when you step off the fire and tell the brain, change the pattern. You turn off, you turn back on. Good. Try that. Pick this up, this leg up. Hold them both. Better? Mm-hmm. Right. Much better. Uh, turn back on your back. You have another one. So we could probably do it here. Actually, sit up and drop your feet off that side. Can you do that? Just so we can see you guys. You go like this. Twist this way. Right? And pick this leg up like you're doing a cross crunch. Good. Do the other way. Same thing. Same. Pick this one up. Feel different? A little bit. Like you yeah. kind of hesitated on that leg. Mm -hmm. So that would be next between the pinky toe and the, and the ring toe. Dig into the meat. Right there, Ooh. it's tender. Try that again. I'll let you work on that one. Good. Here. Good. Solid. Mm -hmm. Feel good? Yes. Lay back down. Can you find the pain in your adductor still? Let's see how level you are. This leg is still like a teeny bit longer than this one. Muscles move bones, right? So if this is longer, I would suspect a weakness somewhere around this hip. And I'm just thinking, where's the weakness still? Quadriceps, so as fascia lava. Up and out, hold it up and out. That's solid. Okay, put your hand on top of your head for me. And bring it over your head like an inch. Hold it there, hold it here. Doesn't do the same, does it? Mm -mm. Put your hand back. It's called a reactive pattern. So the Fascia lata is getting turned off by some other muscle in the wrong pattern. It's reacting to another muscle. So a quick shortcut would be, this is the reactive muscle. We're looking for the reactor, okay? Without having to test 100 muscles to find it. It's a long way, we have shortcuts nowadays. So we're looking for the reactor that's turning that guy off. And that is in the upper body. That muscle is in the lower body. It's on the left leg, it's on the right leg. It's on the front, it's on the back. It's from the hip to the knee. Uh, now we can just name those guys, popliteus, hamstrings, glute max, piriformis, glute medius, so that your glute max is turning off the fascia lata. So we can show that like this, hold straight down. Good, relax for a moment. Just let that pattern relax. Hold up and out. Both of those work, right? We're gonna do it fast now. Hold down. Good, come up. Hold it. <laughs> Do this up. Hold down. Good, come up. 
works fine. Yeah. So when that glute fires on that side, it's really turning off that. And it shouldn't be immediate like that. It should be like increments. As one fires, it lets the other one out, mm -hmm. not immediately turn off. Right. So when that happens, it creates compensation. Somebody else has got to do the work. Right. So we just do like this. So we're just going to spindle down the muscle. Yeah. Sometimes we need to release it, make it weak temporarily. Good. See if you can engage that now. Good. Hold it down. Good. I'm going to let it go. Relax it. I'm using my legs here, and we've got it in what we call a circuit, circuit retaining mode. Hold it up and out. Feel strong. Really, really, really get the neurological information in there. Good. And now we're going to do that again. Hold down. Good. Quickly come up. Good. Let it go. Mm -hmm. And now we relax. And now your hips are even. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lotto was allowing the, the femur to fall down a little bit, so it was like a smidgen longer. And that kind of throws the gate off, right? So we check one more time. Anything else around here? And we go with the gate patterns. All right. Awesome. You have to change. Some info from Touch for Health Kinesiology. Good stuff.